Hi, and welcome to the book review of Sam Walton's Made in America. Now, this book was written just before uh, Sam died, um, back in the early 90s, I believe 1992, but don't quote me on that, but he gives the, the dates given here in the book. Anyway, it's a, a book that uh, is a very interesting read. Now, Inc. Magazine gives you a rigor rating of the different books that they rate, and it's as good a, a rating as uh, any as I could possibly give. They rate books from Who Moved My Cheese, Who Moved My Cheese, to Good to Great. Now, this is a rigor rating, as in how difficult it is to read. Now, Who Moved My Cheese is a very easy to read, very simple, very basic book that uh, is, quite frankly, very fun. And Good to Great by Jim Collins is a very good book, a very interesting book, but it's very difficult to read. It's not something that you're going to sit down and uh, uh, say, wow, this is, I just can't put it down kind of thing. This is a book that uh, takes some effort to read. Okay, well, Sam Walton's book is a lot closer to Who Moved My Cheese. It's a very easy to read book. It's a very um, entertaining book. Uh, and in this book, Sam Walton takes you through some history of Walmart, through some history of pre-Walmart, uh, how he got the ideas that he got. And uh, he also talks about the problems that he had, the lessons that he learned along the way. Um, he gives credit to a lot of fine people throughout the book. And he actually tells a person how they could beat Walmart if they so chose. Now, this is interesting because he also gives some warnings, and I believe it's chapter 9, he gives some warnings to the people there at Walmart about how they will fail. And if you look down, this will be posted on the uh, um, Redneck NBA website, and I give a quote in there, and uh, I don't have it readily available right now, but uh, I give a quote in there where he talks about what he fears the most for Walmart, where he had read um, recently at that point in time about the uh, 76 discounters that started about the time he did, and many of them started with uh, a lot more money and a lot better locations, and they were out of business. And why? Because they lost sight of their customers. And why did they lose sight of the customers? Because they lost sight of taking care of their employees. Well, this is exactly what's happening today. Now, Walmart, W-A-L, Squiggly, M-A-R-T, is a very different place than Walmart, W-A-L, M-A-R-T. And they got rid of the Squiggly. I don't know why, but they got rid of the Squiggly after Mr. Sam died. A lot of his employees uh, knew him as Mr. Sam. They gave him the respectful title of Mr. Sam. And we're going to refer to him most of the time as Mr. Sam because... Most of the employees that I've talked with that actually met Mr. Sam had a great deal of respect for him. He treated his employees well, although not always, but basically treated them well. And um, in this book, it talks about how if the uh, company loses sight of the employee, doesn't take care of the employee on the floor, that employee won't take care of the customer, and that customer won't be satisfied, and that customer will vote with their feet. And that's exactly the term that he uses is that they'll vote with their feet. He talks about the concept of management by walking and flying around. Now, the uh, book uh, In Search of Excellence by Robert Waterman Jr., I believe it is, and Tom Peters discuss the concept of management while walking around and state that uh, um, Mr. Sam called it management by walking about. But in the book, he talks about management by walking and flying around, which says that the... Uh, head of a company, no matter what company, no matter what size, needs to be out on the sales floor. And we're going to discuss that in a video in the uh, near future about management by, uh, by walking around. But anyway, he talks, chapter 9 is just full of things that the Walmart, the top echelon of Walmart should read. Every, every, everyone that has any kind of thought of investing in Walmart stock, of being a Walmart uh, manager, being a Walmart executive of any type, this should be required reading. And if you have already read it, if you're an executive at Walmart and you have already read it, you should read it again. Because very clearly, Walmart has lost what Mr. Sam put in this book. This is a textbook. 
This is an absolute textbook of how to make a great store. And did Wal if Walmart got back to those values, you'd see a super, oh, they're already the largest retail establishment in the world. Don't get me wrong. They are excellent in making money. But just like Mr. Sam predicted, very soon they're going to fall in the ranking because they've forgotten their customer. So, if you're going to start, you want to try to beat Walmart, read the book. You want to try to learn about uh, how Walmart did it, read the book. You want to learn about how to be a great re retailer, read the book. This is, if you could only read one book, if you're going into retailing, you could only read one book, this is the book to read. Now, obviously there are many others that we'll recommend that you should read. But if you're going into retail, this is the book to read. Uh, maybe not necessarily at first, because there's a few others. This is a great book. It's enjoyable to read. It doesn't take long. You could read it in, in probably a, a couple of sittings. You probably don't want to sit there and try to read the whole thing from beginning to end. But you can read it in a few sittings. Um, very entertaining. Very interesting. Uh, Mr. Sam has a very um, friendly kind of... Uh, approach to the way that he tells his story. It's very interesting. Um, the book was written, Sam Walton with John Huey. I suspect that uh, John Huey actually did most of the writing, but Mr. Sam is very clearly in here. Mr. Sam is telling the story, and uh, Mr. Huey kind of chronicles that. So, great book. Pick up a copy. Um, watch the videos, the links um, to this book on the different blog spots that we have. Um, You'll get some more information on our blogs, uh, blog spot. Uh, anyway, so take it from the, uh, the Redneck MBA. This is a great book. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. These great redneck coffee mugs are available at www.cafepress.com forward slash redneck for president. We receive a commission off of them as well. You can also purchase buttons, yard signs, etc. from that website.